Time for your local news hit. Nula, good morning to you again. I'm sorry, do we have a licence for him? I'm not sure if he's allowed to be, you know, unregistered and allowed, allowed around Manly at the moment. I think we need to check with that. But for now, let's take another look at your local news headlines. A man is in a stable condition after suffering multiple gunshot wounds in Western Sydney last night. It's the fourth shooting there in just two weeks. Police were called to the scene in Winston Hills just after 11pm and found the 27-year-old gunned down at his home. He was rushed to Westmead Hospital. His mother was also treated for minor injuries at the scene. There's been a boost in the polls for New South Wales Labor, the first time in two years. According to the latest news poll, Labor's primary vote is up four points to 32%. That's still well behind the coalition, though, at 45 on the two-party preferred basis, the coalition has slipped four points to 57%, while Labor has gained four points to 43. DFAT is yet to confirm whether any Australians were involved in a ferry sinking in Thailand. Six people are dead after the double-decker boat left Lan Island for the resort town of Pattaya yesterday evening. An engine problem forced passengers on the top deck to rush to the first floor, which caused the ferry to flip on its side and sink. The boat was overcrowded by up to 80 people, while 200 others were rescued. Olympic kayaker Nathan Bagley will face Lismore Local Court today on drug charges. Police arrested the two-time silver medalist along with another man in Tweed Heads on Friday night as part of an ongoing investigation into amphetamine trafficking. He faces seven charges, including manufacturing and producing prohibited drugs and supplying a commercial quantity. Taking a look at finance now, up against the greenback, the Aussie dollar's buying 94.37 US cents, a dollar 14 New Zealand, 93.16 Japanese yen, 59 British pence and 0.69 euros. Shane Watson faces a race against time to be fit for the first Ashes test when he arrives home from India today. The all-rounder will have his hammy assessed this week and his injury opens the door for Tassie all-rounder James Faulkner. The first test in Brizzy starts in 17 days. Rugby league officials are yet to decide whether they'll replace the injured Luke Lewis. His tournament ended after he dislocated his shoulder when colliding with an advertising sign. Ouch! In Australia's 3-4-2 on Saturday and Saturday. Kangaroos coach Tim Sheen has signalled his interest in calling on a replacement, but yesterday they were still weighing up the value of doing so. And now, let's see what's in store for us weather-wise. Wake up to your local weather. Thanks to Banana Boat. Tested in the Australian sun. Sydney, a mostly sunny day. Winds easing, 20 degrees. 19 for Newcastle, partly cloudy. And a cold start in Canberra today and a top of 19. Partly cloudy and 27 in Brisbane. Melbourne, early showers and 17. 18 in Hobart, sunny in Adelaide 24, 32 degrees in Perth. And before I go, let me introduce you to the Invisible Man. Think this is just a rack of comic books? Think again. A Chinese artist has managed to blend into just about any background by painting himself. All you can see is a ghostly outline of his body. I'm sure this would be very, very handy. I just can't think of in what circumstances, but I'm sure it would. I'm sure this is not time wasted on his account. No. <laughs> I'd like to not see you painted like your backdrop for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge I refuse to take on. Okay, something to work on. Thanks, Challenge Mills. denied. Thank you. See ya.